Today we are going to show you how to achieve a simple winged liner and bold lip using our signature runway room base and entrepreneur lipstick. The first step in our application is to apply two pumps of our mattifying flawless finish primer using the duo fiber stipple brush. Starting through the center of the face and working outwards, making sure that we really buff the product in. Next, we apply our color correcting concealer, Pink Flesh, all over the eyelid and the inner corners of the eye using our flat concealer brush and we'll then press it through with a damp beauty blender. After we've pressed our concealer all over the tops of the lids and underneath the eye, we'll go in with our first layer of face base foundation, always using our flat top buffing foundation brush. The first step in our eye application is to use peanut butter loose dust. We use a flat firm brush to press the product all the way through the mobile lid and then a fluffy white blending brush to soften the product through the crease, blending it all the way up to the brow. We then go into our winged liner. Using a black gel pot liner and either your skinny liner brush or angle brush, line the lash bed, making sure that you keep the liner super tight into the lash line, not starting too thick. Ask your client to open their eyes as you go so you know that you're heading in the right direction. When you get to the inner corner of the eye, ask your client to open their eyes and look in the opposite direction. When it comes to your wing, make a mark for where you want your wing to extend out to and you can then ask them to close their eyes and perfect it and clean it up with the eye closed. Just make sure you're asking them to open their eyes continuously so you can make sure that you're heading in the right direction. Symmetry is very important with winged liner, so make sure you stand back and have a look at your client face on and make any adjustments as people's eye shapes are not always symmetrical. You may need to tweak the liner to make the eye appear balanced. When you are happy with your wings, go in with some Power Lash Mascara starting on the bottom and then the top. Really layer it up and then do a quick clean up under the eye. We will then reconceal using Pink Flesh Concealer. Apply with your flat concealer brush and then press in with a damp beauty blender. We will then smoke out the bottom lash bed with peanut butter loose dust using the soft angled brush. Take the peanut butter loose dust quite low and then place black eye definer into the bottom waterline, really working it into the lashes. We're now going to fill the brows in using medium brow dust. The product can be used wet or dry, depending on whether the client would like a more defined, strong, structured brow or something a little bit softer and more brushed up. Today, we're using the product dry.
We're now going to apply loquacious lash. We've chosen loquacious because of the winged effect. Make sure that you measure the lash up against your client's eye before trimming and placing the glue on the band. Place your lash as firmly and tightly into the lash bed as possible. Layer up the skin with an extra pump or two of base base foundation or mineral stick foundation depending on the coverage required. We then go in and set it with either the invisible setting powder or the mineral powder if you'd like a bit of extra coverage. Using the white fluffy angle brush, we place peach punch onto the apples of the cheeks. We then contour using Vegas Sunset Bronzer. We work the bronzer underneath the cheekbone and up into the hairline. You can also contour your client's jawline. We then highlight using our warm illuminating powder. This can be placed on top of the cheekbone, down the centre of the nose and above the cupid's bow. To finish this look, we are going to apply our orange lipstick, Entrepreneur. And there we have our glam winged liner and bold lip with a beautiful glowing base.